Hey guys, uh, going to do another review today. Um, it's a movie I haven't seen in a while, so I'm just going to go on memory. So it might be kind of bad. I don't know. So, the movie I chose to do today was the infamous shockumentary The Ultimate Taboo Real Kill Thing Faces of Death. Now, Faces of Death is basically a fake, emphasis on fake, documentary about death. So, you have it narrated by uh, patho pathologist Francis B. Gross, which uh, is obviously a fake name. Who would we call Francis B. Uh, but he's right here. Right. This movie's all over the place. It starts out with like an autopsy scene, like just a bunch of dead bodies, like old shriveled up corpses. Um, then the credits go, and then there's this operation scene, which it is real, and that could be disturbing. Oh, the autopsy scene's real too, but. And then Francis B. Gross comes in and he starts talking about death and how people look at death and treat it. So he starts talking about like the death of animals to like survive, for, for like humans to survive by consuming animals or something like that. So a good half of the movie is just scenes of animals dying and some of it's hard to watch like there's a slaughterhouse scene where they kill all the lambs. And the kosher beef scene, which... I work in a meat department, so... found that kind of disturbing. Not really. But, uh... There's a scene where people... hunt an alligator, which I think is fake. I'm not too sure on that one. Uh, there's a massive seal clubbing scene, which is hard to watch. Uh... Then you have scenes like the monkey scene, which everybody's heard of. These people sit at a table, and then they're fed monkey. And the monkey's alive, and then they hit it to death and eat its brains. Um, I don't see why everybody thinks that's a real scene. You could tell that they used cauliflower for the brains. Um, <clears throat> there's this scene where you see a snake like swimming in a river like this. And it's a, like a big anaconda. Then you see some piranhas come up, and you eat it, and then you just see the snake skeleton floating down the river. Um, after the second half, the, f the first half, rather, uh, Francis B. Gross, he starts talking about how uh, the animals get their ref revenge on the humans. So you see... Uh, an alligator, well a man falls into a river and then an alligator eats him, which is a fake scene. Um, and then it just starts talking about how people kill each other, so there's a decapitation scene, which again is fake. There's a plane crash, which is real, that part's kinda, kinda sad and hard to watch. Um, there's a scene where there's like a snake cult, and they, they're having like a big orgy. And they, uh, they rub blood. No, they're not a snake cult. They're like Satanists. And they rub blood all over themselves, and then they, they get it on. There's, uh, there's a snake cult, too, which is kind of real, I think. Uh, there's these people, and they, like, wrap snakes all around them. They're, like, holding snakes all over the place. There's kids playing with snakes, which I found kind of hard to watch, because I do not like snakes. Uh, there's a suicide. Guy jumps out of a window, which I think is real. But I liked, I liked it when everybody thought that every scene was real, and they, the the makers of this DVD kind of fucked it up because they put uh, 
feature at with effects creators, and they tell you how they did all the fake scenes. Like the monkey brain, they use a cauliflower, like a little cauliflower head. Uh, for the decapitation scene, they have like a jello head. Um, I didn't watch all of it because it was kind of spoiling some of the stuff I hadn't watched. But Faces of Death. It's not that great of a movie. People just watch it to say they watched it. Because it's like... It is a video nasty. And it deserves to be a video nasty. Um, it's... Shocking, I guess. It's banned in 43 countries. So if people want to watch it to see how bad it is. Um, the director... Conan Lair, Conan Le Solaire, I think, Conan Le Solaire, maybe, I think that's just a stage name, so we didn't get in shit for making this, um, for the 30th anniversary edition, there's nothing really that special on this, there's, like, commentary, feature editor, Featurette with editor, Glenn Turner. Uh, how they did the effects, deleted scenes, outtakes, and trailer. But, I wouldn't recommend this really if you're squeamish. I wouldn't recommend it if you're not squeamish, because it is kind of boring. Nothing really exciting happens until like the second half of the movie. There's, uh... My, my version, I originally bought this... And now it's all scratched up and shit because everybody's like, Oh, you have faces of death, let me borrow that. And I was like, okay, here, borrow it. And, uh, this one guy I know watched Faces of Death because he wanted to see, uh, Three Guys in a Hammer or something like that. One of those shock videos that is actually real. I've never seen it. I don't plan on seeing it. But he wanted to see this to see if it was worse or whatever. Uh, Faces of the Death, like, this has had, I think, five sequels, you can get them all in one big box set, um, Traces of Death, which is mostly real things, I've heard, I don't, I'm not too sure, it's like, people watch this for shock value, they don't watch it for like the study of death, they don't watch it for a horror movie. They watch it to see how the people die. And when it's not the gore fest they were hoping it was, they're disappointed. I wasn't disappointed, I just bought it for the collection. Mildly liked it. It's not something I want to watch again, because it doesn't have any playback value whatsoever. But it is an interesting watch. It is one of the movies that deserves to be banned, like, uh, people banned Last House on the Left. I can see why, but be only because of the rape scenes in it. Um, people banned Driller Killer for no real reason. But the ones that do deserve to be banned, Faces of Death, Cannibal Holocaust, and Cannibal Ferox. If you want to watch Video Nasties, go ahead and watch Face of the Death. I recommend renting it, because, um, yeah, it's not worth buying. Uh, I'm almost out of time, so I'll have to skip these last two things. But, anyway, thanks for watching.